Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to double shot. Now, first of all, I'm just going to get into like the uh, basic tutorial. So if you guys have never heard of the double shot or you're trying to learn it, you know, you've seen someone do it before, you're like, how the heck do I do that? Um, pretty much all you want to do is, whoa, sorry, my thing screwed up. There we go. Um, pretty much all you want to do is as you're pulling back, click twice or shoot. Sometimes you're going to get it like that. It's a lot of work in the timing, especially now since they nerfed it. Um, like you're going to have to practice a lot to try to get the timing right. But as you're pulling back, just click twice and it should be a rhythm of about like one, two, one, two, one, two each time you click. Um, even if you want to, you can just hold this bow completely straight and just move your hand back trying to get those two arrows. And then once you get the two arrows, then you want to try to have like some kind of form so you can work on accuracy and stuff, which is completely up to you. It's whatever is most comfortable for you. Which brings me into the next topic, which is finding your own double shot. Uh, I see a lot of people like try to mimic other people's double shots and it just never works out. So just whatever works for you. And you want to, um, since this is the advanced <laughs> guide, you really want to get into things that you haven't really looked at before, such as how you hold the controller, how you press the trigger, how you, um, you know, like how far your finger is, what, um, what triggers you use if you're on PC, um, <clears throat> all those kind of different things. And you want to kind of clash them all together to make your own thing. So kind of like, it's, I don't know, it's really hard to explain. On my CV1, I used to shoot like this i used to like i used to mainly move my bow hand and just kind of keep my other hand still and then i would um put my index finger on the grip button because my middle finger would move like would click too fast to the point where i would just get ghost arrows so it was faster for me to go slow if that makes any sense so it's like little things like that you need to watch out for um how you hold the controller but i mean that, that's pretty much it sorry i'm like rambling on uh it's like how you hold the controller how you press the triggers um what triggers you do press uh how you move your arm whether you like move your wrist or you just move your elbow or you move your like entire arm um and whether you just move one arm or both arms but I mean, that's pretty much it for form. You just want to like literally fine tune everything. So do you move your wrist? Do you not move your wrist? Do you keep your wrist like this, like this, like this? I, it's literally everything about it. It's like the rotation, uh, how you move it, what parts of like your arm you move, because that's kind of what I did. For some people, this just comes naturally and they just do it. But for me, I just had to practice a crap ton and use loads of different double shots, which I'm sure you guys have seen over my videos. Um, you know, sometimes I'm doing vertical, sometimes I'm doing this. Um, and just kind of change as I see what works better for me and what doesn't. But other than that, it's really all in the, in the form. And I can't teach that. You have to learn it on yourself or like learn it yourself. So I hope this somewhat helped. Um, one thing I am going to talk about right before the video ends is accuracy so the whole concept of accuracy again i can't teach you uh i can teach you the concept though because you guys have all had different double double shots so mainly the concept is you want to keep in between the double shots you want to keep the two points with which you click to be as parallel as possible not parallel to be like as straight as possible um then you're gonna get the two closest arrows And if you don't do that, see, I move from point one to point two like this. And they're not like, it's still, you know, it's not like parallel or like in coordinates with the bow hand. Then the arrows are going to go, you know, all weird like that. If I do that, this would be like all weird versus if I just go straight back. Um, so that's pretty much the whole concept is in between the clicks you want to have you want it to be as straight with your other with your bow hand as possible to get like the most straight arrow 
things to take away from this video is number one, accuracy is way better than speed. So you want to focus on accuracy um, way before you focus on speed. And number two is that it's all in your form, both of which I can't teach you. So you guys are going to have to learn that on your own. And number three is that if you're just a beginner, I would just use the single arm double shot because it's so much easier to learn and then move on to the double arm. That's pretty much it. I hope this somewhat helped you. Um, just remember, focus on accuracy. It's going to help you a lot more than speed. Because even if you shoot a million arrows a second and all of your arrows go like this, you're not going to hit anything and it's pointless. So just focus on accuracy instead. Anyways, I'll see you guys later. Hope this helped somewhat. And I'm sorry for rambling on. See ya.